Welcome to morning prayer for Wednesday the 16th of December in the third week of the season of Advent. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Blessed are you, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, for you have blessed us in Christ Jesus with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. You chose us to be yours in Christ before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before you. In love you destined us to be your children through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of your will, to the praise of your glorious grace, which you freely bestowed on us in the Beloved. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, Set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The psalm set for this morning is Psalm 105, verses 1 to 22. O give thanks to the Lord, and call upon his name. Tell among the peoples what things he has done. Sing to him, O sing praises, and be telling of all his marvellous works. Exult in his holy name, and let those that seek the Lord be joyful in heart. Seek the Lord and his strength. O seek his face continually. Call to mind what wonders he has done. His marvellous acts and the judgments of his mouth. O seed of Abraham his servant. O children of Jacob his chosen one. For he is the Lord our God, and his judgments are in all the earth. He has remembered his covenant forever, the word that he ordained for a thousand generations. covenant that he made with Abraham, the oath that he swore to Isaac, and confirmed it to Jacob as a statute, to Israel as an everlasting covenant, saying, I will give you the land of Canaan. to be the portion of your inheritance. And that, when they were but few. Little in number, and aliens in the land. They wandered from nation to nation, from one people and kingdom to another. He suffered no one to do them wrong, but reproved even kings for their sake, 
saying, Touch not my anointed. And do my prophets no harm. Then he called down a famine on the land. And destroyed the bread that was their stay. But he had sent a man ahead of them. Joseph, who was sold into slavery, whose feet they fastened with fetters, and thrust his neck into a hoop of iron, till the time that his words proved true. He was tested by the Lord's command. Then the king sent and loosed him. The ruler of nations set him free. He made him master of his household. and ruler over all his possessions, to rebuke his officers at will, and to teach his counsellors wisdom. Let us pray. We consecrate this day to your service, O Lord. May all our thoughts, words and actions be well-pleasing to you and serve the good of our brothers and sisters. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The first reading set for this morning is from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 14, beginning at verse 3. When the Lord has given you rest from your pain and turmoil and the hard service with which you were made to serve, you will take up this taunt against the king of Babylon. How the oppressor has ceased, how his insolence has ceased. The Lord has broken the staff of the wicked, the scepter of rulers that struck down the peoples in wrath with unceasing blows that ruled the nations in anger with unrelenting persecution. The whole earth is at rest and quiet. They break forth into singing. The cypresses exult over you, the cedars of Lebanon, saying, Since you were laid low, no one comes to cut us down. Sheol beneath is stirred up to meet you when you come. It rouses the shades to greet you, all who were leaders of the earth. It raises from their thrones all who were kings of the nations. All of them will speak and say to you, You too have become as weak as we are. You have become like us. Your pomp is brought down to Sheol, and the sound of your harps. Maggots are the bed beneath you, and worms are your covering. How you are fallen from heaven, O day star, son of dawn! How you are cut down to the ground, you who laid the nations low! You said in your heart, I will ascend to heaven. I will raise my throne above the stars of God. I will sit on the mount of assembly on the heights of Zaphon. I will ascend to the tops of the clouds. I will make myself like the Most High. But you are brought down to Sheol, to the depths of the pit. Those who see you will stare at you and ponder over you. Is this the man who made the earth tremble, who shook kingdoms, who made the world like a desert and overthrew its cities, and who would not let his prisoners go home? All the kings of the nations lie in glory, each in his own tomb. 
but you are cast out away from your grave like loathsome carrion, clothed with the dead, those pierced by the sword who go down to the stones of the pit like a corpse trampled underfoot. You will not be joined with them in burial because you have destroyed your land, you have killed your people. May the descendants of evildoers never more be named. Prepare slaughter for his sons because of the guilt of their father. Let them never rise to possess the earth or cover the face of the world with cities. I will rise up against them, says the Lord of hosts, and will cut off from Babylon name and remnant, offspring and posterity, says the Lord. And I will make it a possession of the hedgehog and pools of water, and I will sweep it with the broom of destruction, says the Lord of hosts. The second reading is from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 10, beginning at the first verse. Jesus left that place and went to the region of Judea and beyond the Jordan. Again, crowds gathered around him, and as was his custom, he again taught them. Some Pharisees came, and to test him they asked, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife? He answered them, What did Moses command you? They said Moses allowed a man to write a certificate of dismissal and to divorce her. But Jesus said to them, Because of your hardness of heart, he wrote this commandment for you. But from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no one separate. Then in the house, the disciples asked him again about this matter. He said to them, whoever divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery against her. And if she divorces her husband and marries another, she commits adultery. People were bringing little children to him in order that he might touch them. And the disciples spoke sternly to them. But when Jesus saw this, he was indignant and said to them, Let the little children come to me. Do not stop them, for it is to such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. Truly, I tell you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will never enter it. And he took them up in his arms, laid his hands on them and blessed them. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. The canticle for Wednesday morning is the Te Deum. We praise you, O God, we acclaim you as Lord. All creation worships you, the Father everlasting. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, the cherubim and seraphim sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the holy church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all praise, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you took our flesh to set us free, you humbly chose the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory, we believe that you will come to be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people. 
bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Let us pray for the peace of the world, the well-being of all people, and for the strength and health of the Church. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and for ever. Amen. The Collect for the third week of the Advent season. Almighty God, you have made us and all things to serve you. Come quickly to save us, so that wars and violence shall end, and your children may live in peace, honouring one another with justice and love. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Living God of the universe, we give you thanks for the gift of life and we pray for the well-being of your people throughout the world. We give you thanks for the development of COVID-19 vaccines and that they are starting to be distributed and administered. We pray that you will restore vast populations in your world to health. We ask you to ensure the just distribution of those vaccines. We pray for your church throughout the world. Today, for your people in the Diocese of South Ankole in Uganda, led by Bishop Nathan. For the Diocese of Eldoret in Kenya, led by Bishop Christopher. We pray that you will strengthen, sustain and guide this Anglican Church of Australia, especially our primate, Geoffrey. Today in our cycle of prayer, we ask you to be with and energise the people of the Diocese of Newcastle, led by Bishop Peter and Bishop Sonia and Charlie. We give you thanks for our share in the life of your church in this Diocese of Southern Queensland. We pray today for the people of the parish of Oakey, served by David. We thank you for those who express care and concern for those in the wider community. And today we give you thanks and pray for your sustaining presence with the Camp Hill Care and Concern Group. We thank you that you give us minds to love you, and we pray for our schools as they seek to educate and nurture young people in faith and love. Today, we ask for your strengthening presence with all those who participate in the life of the Glennie School in Toowoomba, praying particularly for Mary Ann Evans, the principal, Sharon Mitchell, the chaplain, Paddy Nichols, the chair of the school council, and for all the members of the school council and the whole school community. Lord, hear us. As Advent continues to unfold and Christmas approaches, we pray in the words of this litany of the Incarnation. 
O God, the ruler of ages eternal, you are without beginning or end, yet you choose to be born an infant in time. Come to us, Advent Lord. O God, the invisible, you are the one whom nobody has seen or can see, yet you assume the face of the Son of Mary. Come to us, Advent Lord. O God, all-powerful, you hold the mountains in the palm of your hand. Yet you let yourself be wrapped in swaddling clothes. Come to us, Advent Lord. O God, eternal glory. Innumerable angels acclaim you endlessly. Yet you choose to be rocked to sleep by the songs of the daughter of David. Come to us, Advent Lord. O God, universal provider, you feed every creature. Yet you choose to hunger for the milk of your mother. Come to us, Advent Lord. O God, Infinite One, Heaven and earth cannot contain you. Yet you rest in the arms of Mary. Come to us, Advent Lord. O God, perfect joy, you are the source of the happiness of heaven and earth. Yet you choose to cry as a little child. Come to us, Advent Lord. O God, Eternal Word, you are the light of all created intelligence. Yet you choose to lie in a manger and cannot even speak. Come to us, Advent Lord. Eternal God and power by uh, eternal God and Father, by whose power we are created and by whose love we are redeemed, guide and strengthen us by your spirit, that we may give ourselves to your service and live this day in love to one another and to you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with us all. And may the God of steadfastness and encouragement grant us to live in such harmony with one another that we may, in, in accord with Christ Jesus, that we may with one voice glorify our God and Father. Amen. Well, every blessing for this... Uh week in the Advent season when we look forward with great anticipation to the birth of Jesus in Bethlehem at Christmas time. Every blessing to you and those with whom you live and work during this Advent week. God bless you.